What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back here for another video. Man, do we have something pretty cool to talk about today. Uh, today it's October 2nd here in Indiana. Deer season just came in. It's about 75 degrees here and still a little bit too early for me to start chasing bucks. Um, but coyote season comes in October 15th. We've still got quite a few crops in all over the place. So waiting for harvest to get done and a little bit cooler nights, but we're getting close. Uh, had a lot of guys ask me, uh, you know, what's, what's the status this year of coyote hunting videos. And I do plan to get back out and, uh, bring the video equipment with me and get those back in rotation. So hopefully that gets you guys excited. I know I'm excited to do it. Last year I was still killing coyotes, but just, uh, I don't know, kind of got burnt out on filming everything and, um, just the way the coyote hunting industry is and things like that. But I know you guys miss it. So plan to bring that back here shortly, but let's get into what today's video is about. Um, I've had a diesel truck the past three, four five years. And, uh, you know, diesel's awesome. I love diesels, love big trucks, tow a lot of stuff. We got a, a boat, camper, uh, and then I tow quite a bit of stuff for work too. But for hunting um, and running and gunning, you know, making quite a few stands a night, some nights on coyote hunts, things like that, I needed something that was gonna stay um, set up kind of year round for hunting capabilities and something that I can just get in and out, be a little bit more quiet, uh, not as noisy things like that, drive through fields, less weight, all that good stuff. So let's take a look at what the new hunting uh, rig, hunting buggy, whatever you want to call it, uh, is going to be. And this here is a Japanese mini truck. Flip you around here. This is a Japanese mini truck. This one here is the Suzuki Carry. Uh, this is a 2012 model. Been looking at these for quite some time. And uh, this is a 2012, like I said, with only 12,790 miles on it. Whoever had it last put a nice front bumper on it with a receiver. I'm capable of putting a hitch up front. And then we'll get to the back, but it's got um, a receiver in the back as well. They put some uh, darker window tint here up front on the top protect some of that sun got some nice molding here for rain guards and window tint on the sides and on the back about the only thing I've done so far is throw a cell phone mount in it and stuck a vortex sticker back there but man I'm super excited about this thing get you gonna start getting this thing decked out uh, if you guys got any recommendations if you guys have one of these and have some ideas on how to transport rifles a little bit better we'll get into the front into the cab here in just a minute but i've got a gun carry case that i already kind of checked out you guys have seen it in other videos that actually attaches to the back seat and pickup trucks kind of to the headrest and then it just kind of hangs over the side but i tried it out here and um, i was actually able to you know just drape that kind of hang that right there so I can hop out, rifles will be hanging right here, pull the rifle out, go to the stand, come back, slide the rifle back in. But I've only had this a day or two now, and I'm open for all ideas if you guys got any. And I'm going to be thinking about a lot of ideas myself, trying to bring this thing, you know, into fruition, turn it into the ultimate hunting rig. Um, got a big bed on it. This bed is actually about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than a standard short bed on, or a short bed on a full size pickup. Somebody put different tires and wheels on it. Whenever I bought it, uh, it, it did come with the factory wheels and, and tires. So that was a nice plus. But these got a little bit more meat on them. Really new tires. Kind of see there, a little meaty, but still pretty good road tires. So kind of a good versatile type tr uh, type tread batteries located here on the side but you guys can see and it's pretty pretty clean setup I love this bed because this is a model where you undo show you here real quick undo these latches 
got these nice, awesome stainless uh, clasp here in this chain that's protected by this coating. That's how you put the bed down. But this model, what I was getting ready to say, it's got another one here. So this turns into a complete flatbed. This panel and that panel will lay completely flat. So when I kill a 600 pound buck that scores 280 inches, it's not gonna fit with the sides up. I can fold it down into a flatbed and be able to get it out of the woods chasing that 600 pound buck. Um, yeah, so that's a plus. This thing's gonna be super handy for, you know, general yard work, 750 pound payload capacity. That's just for the bed only, not, not counting two riders up front. I think that's it for the outside. Like I said, this is gonna be my, probably put some sort of, uh, you know, storage tote, hunting tote back here. Kind of secure that, maybe to, maybe to one of the sides. Right now I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do, but, and then some sort of way. Tripods will lay down just fine. But as of right now, I plan to hang that bag right here. And then I, I've got a nice double uh, rifle case from Armageddon gear, I think. I can just load that in the basement and throw it in the back too. That'll work, but I'm just looking for ways to, to deck it out. Let's take a look inside here. You can tell how clean this thing is. Previous owner really took care of it. Got a bottle of water in here, a Bluetooth speaker, and the only other thing I did was mount a cell phone holder right there. So the reason I mounted that cell phone holder, this being a right side drive, because these are all from Japan overseas, so it's right side drive, and I think you can see there, um, it's in kilometers per hour. So I downloaded an app on my phone, a GPS coordinated uh, mile per hour speedometer. So I can take a look at my miles per hour over there on my phone, get an idea uh, without doing calculations driving down the road. I can then kind of remember, you know, I think it's 80, 85, something like that. Kilometers is uh, 55 mile per hour, somewhere around there. Don't hold me to that. It's got some little, you know, cubbies, nothing super deep. One right back there. I uh, got a little tray here underneath the radio, the <laughs> radio. Uh, that's why I got the Bluetooth speaker in here. I've just been cruising around. The radio, there's no, there's actually holes in there that I've heard heard of behind the panels. But the radio, these are your speakers. <laughs> so you can imagine what that sounds like. Not much coming out of it. I've just been using it for a clock. It's got a clock right there. Huge plus on this. I've uh, been looking at side-by-sides, these things. One plus on this is I... With me hunting, you know, zero degree temperatures whenever I'm coyote hunting at night. I really wanted an enclosed cab and I had to have heat. This has heat and AC and both work awesome. Super excited about that. Uh, part of the engine's under here. The other part's under here. Engine is super clean. Another little bit of uh, storage there, a little cubby. I do like that it has cup holders. A lot of these... Different models don't have cup holders. There's a little tray right there. Uh, that seat does not move forward. This one moves forward. Got a pair of gloves back here. Got a zipper molly pouch. And just some wet wipes for now. But you can tell there, it's tight quarters, not a lot of storage. I put one little hook right here. I've got some bigger hooks. Uh, like I say, just um, wanted to make this initial video before I start doing too much to it. And uh, kind of bring you guys along, make a playlist out of this, show you guys as time goes on what I've done to it, changes I've made. Um, not looking to revamp a whole lot of things, just looking to add some accessories and some mods to, you know, better suit it for hunting. I'm not going to put a lift on it because that changes the gear ratio, stresses the transmission a little bit more. These things will run 55, 60 mile an hour. Um, you know, you're going to lose some speed, lose some power going up hills. Uh, it doesn't handle loads like that at, at top end speed too well. Um, but it's going to be perfect for cruising, cruising the roads, you know, at nighttime, chasing coyotes, driving to the, you know, edge of the edge of the woods or the edge of the field where I'm going to deer hunt, things like that, and some use here. 
around the farm, around the house. But overall, pretty slick little rig. If you guys have any questions, uh, comments, if you guys have one, thoughts on what I should do to, you know, rig up the back to where I can better haul some rifles. Like I said, just throwing a gun case in right here worked just fine. Or I guess I should say this side since I'm going to be over here. It's going to be a lot easier. Always have this set up, ready to roll. Won't have to, you know, take in take things in and out of my work truck, you know, daily driver, things like that. This is going to be the new hunting rig. So if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe here to the channel. Got a lot of old coyote hunting videos. And uh, for you returning guys, coyote stuff's coming back. So we're excited about that. I hope you guys are too. Um, but yeah, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you on the next one. Bye.